Hello, I'm Barnaby Slater here with you again on Spurred On. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but FIFA president Sepp Blatter has gone. He's resigned yesterday, he's fallen on his sword. There's blood spurting everywhere out of him all over Switzerland. So, what did I think? Spurred On, Spurs fans. Well, David Ginola has applied for the post and is putting himself forward as the next FIFA president. So what we're gonna do is the top five reasons why Monsieur David Ginola should be the next FIFA president. Number five, Monsieur David Ginola is not a corrupt, skullduggerous, sexist, bald, deluded, brown envelope accepting, Viagra chewing, scrotum lookalike. If that's not a good reason to be voted for the FIFA presidency, I don't know what is. Number four, David Ginola is French and he has the French accent. And the French accent is something that all men wish we had and all women just swoon by. So when Mr. Ginola is saying to the whole parliament, we want this motion, then everything will be accepted straight away. And what will happen is that suddenly Players who want to take their shirts off when they've scored, it'll no longer be a bookable offence because that's not what Ginola wants. It'll now be a bookable offence to not take your shirt off when you scored a goal. That is number four. Number three, David Ginola loves England. He's played in England, he bigs up England all the time, he talks about how the best clubs are in England. Frankly, if Ginola became president of FIFA, I'm pretty sure the 2018 and 2022 World Cups would be played in England. There'd be no more of this Russian and Qatari <laughs> Pretty sure that half of the games would be played at the new Big Lane, half of them would be played at St James's Park, with potentially the third, fourth playoff at Villa Park, or maybe more likely at Oakwell, where he scored that absolutely brilliant solo goal for Spurs in the FAC Up quarterfinal. Number two, because he's worth it. Isn't it about time we had a FIFA president who actually had some hair? And I don't just mean like normal hair, I mean flowing, lovely locks. Sure, his hair's a bit gray and a bit shorter these days, but in his heyday, Ginla didn't just have normal hair like mine or like the cameraman's or like anyone's. He had wonderful, flowing, glorious hair that moved as he swung his head and of course it was so worth it that he was the famous icon at the front of a company's hair commercials. I can't mention what company that is for legal reasons, but let's just say it sounds a lot like Boreal. And number one on the reasons why David Ginola should be the next FIFA president because he's a Spurs legend. He was exactly what Spurs are all about, to dare is to do. Flair, taking on players, even if he's in his own half, scoring wonderful goals. Those goals that get that goal against Barnsley, those goals at the White Hart Lane that were just so glorious, bent into the far corner. Ginola could do that on a world stage as FIFA president. Sure, he won't be scoring goals anymore, but he'll be throwing in the odd left field shot from 26 yards, you know, saying stuff like, ah, FIFA, we should make rules like, Spurs win everything, all the time. Spurs must win. They must have the best team in the world all the time and everyone else must have financial fair play. So that is the reason Ginola should be the main FIFA president. They were our five reasons for David Ginola being president of FIFA. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at TV. And we're gonna kill this tournament.